And I kept looking because I was like, maybe oh, I didn't see a tick. Maybe no. I saw it. And then I could see he's starting to like catch oh, my glance. No. And like our conversation's going fine. And it's never said, but there was one point where I looked down, he looked at me looking down, and then we like met and we weren't like saying oh. anything about like eating. Boom, watch fam. What is up, watch fam? I am Christian, the curator of the Theo and Harris watch shop. We're not going to make a big deal out of it today. And you are? Michael. <laughs> uh, if you guys uh, aren't familiar with the show, um, that's an old Gary Vee reference. He used to do really? the show. I've been watching, actually, while I looked this up, I've been watching a lot of things making fun of Gary Vee. So, Gar I'm a big Gary Vee fan. I haven't watched him in years. Uh, I think the point of Gary Vee's content is to get out of get get the very few messages he has to communicate yeah. out of it, and then never watch it again. He yeah. said that. Yeah. Like he's honest about that. Yeah. So then there are a type of people that that watch it for motivation, but they don't actually go and do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I took all the information and went and did it. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of people make fun of him because he's you know larger than life and a little annoying. But uh, you know, he's the real deal. I mean, the guy is a beast. The guy's a beast. I saw this one thing where he was just like, I like to picture my family dead in the shower every day. And I was like... He's a little dramatic. Yeah, but then I, I pictured that and I got in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? All right, what are we talking about today? Anyways, today we... Well, we're talking about a few things. <laughs> that was so dark. I know, dark. Today we're talking about a few different things. The main topic being... One of my idols, I actually, not not idols, but the guy that made it out and made it big, I complimented his watch on the first time I ever met him, and then found out it was fake. And I'll tell you, oh, tell you okay. kind of what I, I thought saying. you were going to say your, like, your idol was from Space Jam, which is one of the topics. I was like, <laughs> who, what, what idol? My idol, Bugs Bunny. Newman? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, yeah, so we'll tell that story at the end, but what we're going to go over That's is sad. the six-figure Space Jam watch. Yeah. There's also one made by Fossil, not that one. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Pity one more. I pictured pictured you explaining. I was this a big pity one more guy for a long time. Really? Yeah. Wow. I never go f yourself. <laughs> when we walked in today, I immediately just pinched <laughs> Christian's shirt, and he was like, "Don't do that." Don't th <laughs> You're gonna wrinkle my fine linen. Like, is this linen? Uh, then we're gonna talk about Panerai's new submersible Chrono Flyback. It's okay. a special edition. Great. And finally, the story. Um, wristwatch check. Boom. Oh. I'm wearing my Rolex Day chest. Looks beautiful. Thank you. Looks Maybe really you're clean. You're wearing on a, we have a shoot today. Yeah. You're wearing it on a shoot? I am. We go on shoots a lot for big brands. Big brand, the biggest brands, <laughs> really fantastic brands. <laughs> right like, when you said big brands, I you saw it in your voice. You're like, ah. Uh, uh, and, um, and Michael never wears his Rolex on shoots because he doesn't want it to get scratched. Yeah. I, on the other hand, always wear a nice watch on shoots, mostly because I avoid manual labor on yeah. shoots. Yeah. Uh, and I always apologize. Tell them what I do when, you, when you're loading and unloading. The first time when I first started shooting with Christian, we were at London Jewelers, and I had everything set up. <laughs> Christian like meekly unplugs a cable and then looks at me and goes I would try to help if I could but I'm too afraid that I would break anything <laughs> but it was just the most the kindest like unplug and then a sorry man sorry dude I'm really in here for the camaraderie <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my Omega Seamaster yes. because today in about an hour we are going to depart for the city of York yes uh, to um to do an Omega shoot. Yep. Yep. We, we, we've done uh, three in like the last <laughs> two weeks. So yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys are going to see a lot of uh, really incredible content from Omega. Um, each individual piece is a, is a, is a I talked about this yesterday, right? Each individual piece is a tactic. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Paul, if you're watching this, you know, um, but, but all together, it's, it's a strategy. Right, yep. so we uh, we're working with Omega on a on a strategy on on a series of of mid length uh, films that um, that are in my opinion far more permanent mm -hmm. than um, than some of like the hot things like you know like the, the Olympics or Bond and those things are great I love those things I'd love to work on a project for them um, but uh, right now we're working on just this, taking a different angle mm -hmm. you know so I'm very excited about it so that's why I'm wearing my Leo C Master. <laughs> So, first topic is the Space Jam watch. Who made this? A company called Cross, a Swiss design studio. Mm. And now, the art, the title of this article is This Six-Figure Space Jam Tour Beyond That is Perfect for Somebody Out There, basically saying, you know, this very polarizing watch. Mm -hmm. And I wrote me, because I think this is a great watch. But can you pull, zoom in? Yeah, 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 of course. Of course, boss. Just let me, let me Dude, open this. I'll do anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to zoom in? You got it. Yeah, I think it's... Wait. Zoom in on the, on the dial. Yeah, that's awesome. 
It's awesome. Wait, right? hold on. That is cooler than like most brands watch. That is an amazing watch. In the Hodinkee article, Danny Milton wrote, he was just like, I don't know who this is for. There's Space Jam characters on the outside. And I oh, was like, I, I didn't see that. Where are they? That, that's what I was looking for. Right there. Very lightly. Oh, okay. There. Okay, that, I mean, that I don't like. That, 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 that I don't like. That I could see as the worst part, but the design, besides one thing, it's 45 millimeters. Oh, it is a big. tank. It's yeah. Big if it was smaller, great. But the design of it, I was like, this is a phenomenal looking also, watch. Also, but, but then think about it. Probably assuming that of the small group of people that are even qualified to buy this watch, interested to buy it, they're probably big wristed, right? Basketball people are just big people. True. True. You know, that is because like, if you look at the article picture, not like actually. little soccer guys, like not me. like you and me. Yeah. You know, if you look at the article, like this, this guy has to be six five. Yeah, he's a monster. Like that looks small on his wrist. Yeah, him. absolutely. But I love that watch. I think it's great. And it, we'll get to a point later when we talk about Panerai that the article <laughs> so was this cool. was saying like, who wants this? That Panerai watch, I'm gonna challenge. Be like, no, no, no. Who wants that? Like this, the special edition guy it's featuring. Yeah. But this is Space Jam. I have the price right there. Ten piece limited edition for one hundred thousand dollars. It's a million dollar run. I mean, you know, yeah. It, it's it's you know, it's one of those things. I mean, you know. How hard are you going to work for a million dollars? Right. You right. know? Yeah. And I, I, I'm, it's like, I'm, yeah, you know what? Delete this. Because <laughs> I'm looking at it like a million dollars isn't enough money to, <laughs> to design and market this. <laughs> Never mind. I'm like, that's I way mean, too much work When it for boils a down to it, a million dollars, that's a car. There are so many easier <laughs> ways to make a million dollars. It's like crazy. But hey, they did a great job. This is amazing. And five-day power reserve. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. It'll be on in the center. That This hour hand is supposed to look like a half-court basketball. Sure, court, whatever. But it kind of also looks a little phallic. What's wrong with you? Apparently, a lot if you don't <laughs> see that. No, I do. I do. It looks like a huge... Yeah, right. And also, wait a minute. Look what you get. <laughs> this was the worst thing I've seen. What is it? I don't know. I just it just it looks like something you put in your you stick in your honey. All the article says is and you also get this to hold your watch. And I was like, "What? Where Can do you, you put your, your watch? watch?" I don't get it. Nothing more, nothing less. It's like just an alternative basketball. It's like a modern basketball. And also this. I was like, "Oh, that's probably where the $99,000 <laughs> comes from." Yeah, right. The watch is only a grand. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Anyways, Christian. Yeah, uh, Pity Womo is a, um, it's a, it's like an outdoor, I don't know. It's like a meetup. It's a convention. Supposedly, it's for business. You know, it's where like a fashion kind of trade show, menswear thing. But no one that I know actually has ever gone there to do business. People just go there to eat and drink in Milan. Mm-hmm. And um, I believe it's in Milan. Is it in Florence or is it in Milan? Florence. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, people just go to eat and drink in Florence and kind of be seen and wear their most uh, peacockish outfits. And they people, you know, want to get their picture taken. That's, that's really it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, 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 I would never go because I just... I, I don't care to fly to Florence yeah. to be in a scene. So what I wanted to bring up is the yeah. trend of watches. I, I wouldn't say these are well, they're actually they're pretty close. Like super most stylish men. Like yeah. They fly out here to show off. Yeah. I want to see what the most stylish men wear. Mm. Specifically, I was looking at K-size, but just you'll see like there's a lot of Rolex. There's that old GMT. Yep. Specifically, what is that movement called where you don't look like you try? It's called uh, sprezzatura and it's a, it's a very old word. Uh, but yeah, Yes, it, it's been mischaracterized, but yes, it does mean, or it does now mean like, right. uh, like a nonchalant elegance. Yeah, right, right. This guy right here, the GMT with the scratched acrylic crystal, reminds yes. me of that so hard. He, yes. he worked Faded so out. hard at it, yep. but he's like, well, I don't know, it's just my watch. Yep. But you're like, no, you no, kept that like that for so long. Exactly. So really, it's just it's just a matter what, of... What, what was that? Is that a gold sub? No, that's like a Sandoz. That's that's a, that's not even a sub. Whoa! And yeah. you know what? This article, which kind of ties into everything, at and the I end, pegged that because I knew the crown was too long. That's why I zoomed in. Makes otherwise, sense. Otherwise, that would have obviously been a sub. That's why you enhanced. Yeah. And Hodinkee at the end of this article apologizes because someone was wearing a fake, oh, which ties into our story nicely. But you look like what you see here. Yeah. It, it's also from, a place for very, very, very wealthy people. Oh yeah. You know, of course, of course. this is looking at all these watches. What's the trend that you see? Just. Borderline. There's nothing really too, too much. I to feel say. like you're looking for something very specific that I'm not going to give you. No, no, just well, anything. I mean, everything's a sports watch. I mean, it's just like, I mean, this guy, I mean, okay, fine. Every once in a while, you're getting an elegant watch, but everyone's wearing sport. I mean, that's it. Everyone's wearing sport. Everyone's wearing 
small to moderately sized, I feel like. Yeah. Like you said, there's really nothing here to say, but what is interesting is it's mostly Rolex paddock. There's a, there's a tutor. In the event where people are trying to be the most outlandish, like mm-hmm. peacocking, most of them just stick to like a Rolex. Yeah. Or something like an old vintage gold watch. Like there's so many brands that you can get loud with. But they don't. They like yeah. to like keep That's a beautiful quiet. photo. And it tells you so much like uh, about the person, yep. like the tattoos on the cuff, and mm-hmm. you know, again, the, the, everything. I mean, I just find it so interesting. You yeah. know, a snapshot of someone's cuff. Uh, you you see so you see so much of their personality. Yeah, you feel it. like you know them like to a yeah, degree. Yeah, exactly. I love it. I love it. Anyway, yeah, Sweet. cool. I won't go to pity, but it's cool. Yeah, I'm good. Shop watches. Theo and Shop Harris. watches. Theo and Harris. Shop straps. Theo and Harris. Theo and Harris. Theo and Harris. <laughs> Hey, if I wanted to get a vintage wristwatch, where do you think I should go? Oh, of course, theonharris.com. But what about eBay? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. Authenticity guarantee my ass. <laughs> I tried that once. I got a. I, I remember that? I got a. You did it twice. Oh, the second God. one was like, fake. Are you kidding me? eBay in proud letters. This is a genuine certified watch. Clearly yeah, fake. Yeah, I, I emailed it. I was like, hey, guys, uh, one, fix this thing and number two i'm gonna blow up your sh- yes and that was hysterical next up this is what i wanted to tie in with the space jam watch mm-hmm. the panerai yeah because this is a limited collaboration honoring jimmy chin he skied from the summit of mount everest all the way down he's an academy award winner so he has now two watches from Panerai that are limited edition collaborations. There's a ski pole and flag on the back, case engraved and everything like that. But the thing I wanted to bring up was the Hodinkee article being like, who would want to wear a Space Jam watch? I look at it almost reversed. I'm like, I don't know how many diehard people there are of Jimmy Chin versus like LeBron James, for example, or Michael mm-hmm. Jordan or yeah. something like that. You're, well, you're right. Yes, I, you're objectively, you're right. I, yeah. Far more people yeah. care a hundred thousand dollars worth about Michael Jordan mm-hmm. than I don't know people you know care forty one thousand dollars worth about Jimmy Chin. I definitely. Yeah. Maybe a lot of people do care about Jimmy Chin. Certainly, not so you don't care about <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's the thing, right? Um, that that being said, you know the other question would be out of the fourteen pieces, you know. Will these ever hit the market, or are these basically just pre-sold to people that are in that inner circle? Did, right, you know, right. Were they given to Jimmy Chin and his circle, mm-hmm. and that's really it? Now, this is just a press opportunity. You right. also have kind of have to look mm-hmm. at that. Four, what do you do with 14 watches? Yeah. This is nothing. You know, right. These brands are, you know, they're, they're a lot bigger than you know, than, than, than 14 that. watches, this, right. The, to me, this is just, it's just a good opportunity to get press. Get press out there. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. 47 millimeter titanium case, massive. Yeah, huge. The J Chin Experience is DLC coated in titanium. Well, in black, but it's titanium yeah. still. And then the J Chin Edition is not. It's just this silver titanium. Do, do you like the, the look of this watch? If they could have pulled it off, not in 47 millimeters, yeah. in like 38, which yeah. is tiny for this watch, yes. But in this, no. It, it is literally going to go around my wrist at that point. Well, for our wrists, it's no good. I, I actually like it a lot. I think it's cool. Yeah. Um, I think it's subtle. Mm-hmm. I really like what they did with the colors. I love the dial's gradient. I, I think they did a great job. I like um, a yeah. matching steel bezel to the case. Yeah. I think that's really smooth. And I know a lot of guys that, that I would recommend. I mean, again, at $41,000, no. This one's, this one's twenty. Oh, 20,000. Okay. Well, at that uh, 20,000, yeah, maybe I would recommend it. I mean, mm-hmm. again, we're living in this bizarre world where a Rolex Daytona is $32,000. Yeah, right, right. This so, is steel. You know, yeah. Right. I mean, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, I could see myself, you know, being asked at a social environment, hey, mm-hmm. what do you think about this? Well, like, if a guy came up to me, you know, over a cocktail, if I always have to be over a cocktail, why can't I be over a salad? <laughs> if a guy came, back, came <laughs> over me, I'm plastic. <laughs> And was like, listen, I'd like your opinion. You know, I'd like to buy a Rolex Daytona, or I'd like to buy a modern like sports watch, a modern chronograph. Mm-hmm. And these are the two watches that resonate with me. One is this, you know, Panerai submersible chronograph with this color scheme, Jimmy Chin, whatever the fuck, doesn't matter. Yep, yep. And the other one's the Rolex Daytona. I like them both. Uh, you know, I the, the the Panerai actually fits me a little bit better, mm-hmm. but the Daytona is a Daytona. Yeah, right. And, and I got to shout out an extra ten for it. Right. I would tell him, dude, like. You're gonna lose money on it. Yep. But who cares? Yeah, right. Maybe who cares? Just get, if you like the watch, buy it. I mean, I am not the guy that's waiting on that line. Yeah. Not yeah. that guy. If you're investing in Rolex, you know the answer already. Yeah, right. You you don't you, care. You, yeah, it's, it's a different story. Yeah. It's a different yeah, exactly. conversation. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's cool. I dig it. 
uh, speaking of watches that I like more than that watch. Yep. No, I like that, but this is way better. Yep. Um, this watch. Cartier. Cartier. Santos Carré. Yep. This watch is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Gordon Gecko watch. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is in two-tone. His was in yellow. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's incredibly elegant. I think that it is one of the best like sports watches of that that period, the eighties period. Yep. I think it just looks it it, it, it epitomizes it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. It's very Gerald Genta. Yep. And it was as if Gerald Genta designed a Cartier. Agreed. Right? Agreed. Yeah. It kept their language, mm -hmm. but it brought in the language of the era. Look at the screws. You and I well we both talk about this watch all the time. We both agreed like we both need to get one of these watches. You actually have one on the way. <laughs> I, well, I yeah, I kept one. Yeah, Christian kept one. Well, tell them that story. Okay, so we're looking at all the watches. I'm going to photograph them and Christian and I have talked about this watch, not this specific one. It's a watch we bonded over. Yeah, we bonded over it like first day even. I was like that's my one of my favorite watches of all time. Finally, like this was the first one I photographed since I started here and Christian pulls it out and I was like, "Are you not keeping it? Are you going to keep it?" And Christian looks at it and goes, yeah, I'll keep it. <laughs> Done. Had to check with his mom. His mom, as I always. My mom. I said, hey, is this nice? And she goes, oh, it's adorable. I want to wear it. Okay. I, okay. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I guess it's mine. Yeah. I guess that's you know, it. Mom can always be the most reliable person to say, uh -huh, yep, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Get that. Yeah, my mom is the last person you want to ask for reasonable advice on a luxury purchase. Because she's like, Get it. my mom's it. perspective is like, you know, speaking of the devil. Hey, Mom, we're talking about you on the live. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. What's going on? Well, why would you ask a f camera what's going on? <laughs> Unbelievable. Because her perspective, you know, as, as a, you know, uh, I was going to say middle-aged. I think she would kill me. But as a middle-aged woman. Young 30-year-old. It's, it's been through a lot. Well, a young 30-year-old. Yeah. Uh, it's been through a lot. She's like, you know what? Who f cares? Who cares? By the f what are you talking? Just do it. Just yeah. do it. And, which I kind of... And you say, all right. All right, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. She goes, oh, please, sweetheart. You are indeed. You work so hard. You work so hard. I see you. Yesterday I saw you. You were all stressed out. Your hair was a mess. I saw you. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Get a girlfriend, too. <laughs> You're like, like mom, the, please, just... Mom. I asked you if I should buy a watch. <laughs> okay. You really should look into the girlfriend. <laughs> oh, my God. I was wearing a watch um, the other day. Day I and I, I was with some friends really? or whatever yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and the, I was I was out at a bar I was at a bar again, oh and I was wearing uh, my brege mm. and um, someone came up to me and said I can't you know well he was wearing a sixteen seventy five mm -hmm. um, that was his son's and his son had passed which, oh, it was awkward yeah. uh, but I said hey that's a great watch I brought it up. And he said to me, it was actually, I was on my way to the bathroom. I just wanted to, I didn't want to bother him. I was hey, that's a great watch. Yeah. And he said, you know, you did the same thing to me three and a half years ago. And I saw you standing over here before, and I knew you were going to do that to me. Again today. <laughs> oh my God. He goes, that's so incredible that you noticed it again. And thank you. And as soon as he said it, I remembered. That's his son's watch. I remember it. Whoa. So we talked about it again. We had a great moment. It was really, I didn't want to bring that up. I felt bad for bringing up this sort yeah, of course, subject of for him. But uh, we had a great conversation. Uh, and, and you know, we, we exchanged drinks. He bought one. You know, it was very nice. Wow. And, and uh, then he said, I have, well, what's, on, what's on your wrist? You know, and I pulled out my breguet. And he said, wow, I've never seen a breguet in real life. Whoa. I've never seen one. I've heard of it, whatever. I've never seen one. They have a store on Fifth Avenue. I said, yes, they do. They blah, do. Blah, blah. Yes, yes. And he goes, what that, What did he say? Like, only, I verbatim, but like, uh, basically, it takes a special kind of person to buy that watch. And to which I said, well, no. Uh, it, it, <laughs> it takes someone with the amount of money. It, it, right, it takes a very, I don't know, it's <laughs> stupid. Um, it takes a very poetic person yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. to spend the But anyway, it was... Um, it was awesome. It was really, really nice. The problem is the third time when you come over. Yeah. Then he's, he's like, you, you. He's like, wow, you really did something. You don't something. remember anything. <laughs> uh, anyway, second watch here, Rolex Datejust, early Datejust, mm -hmm. Alpha Hands, uh, a, 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 an originally silver sunburst style that's gone like honey almost. Yeah. Uh, stunning watch, um, early Datejust, engine turn bezel. Yeah. You can't, you're not going to really can you beat, it? beat this. I, I can't knew. Beat it. Can you dig it? Can you dig um, it? This is a very brief story. It's the story of the guy with the fake Rolex, which you already know the, the ending. The story of the story. <laughs> so I was making a feature film. There was this guy, the guy that like made it in the industry that went to my school. Mm. And I, don't, I can't say his name. I, if he sees this, he's already going to know because he went to my school. Can but, you just say it off camera? Yeah, I'll whisper it to you later. 
<laughs> in the middle of the Omega shoot. Hey, Christian. Hey, hey by the way, hey, I buddy. Feel, I feel bad for not telling you his name before. But anyways, he was the guy that made it. He was the guy that came and did, like, speeches and told everybody, like, if you just follow your dream, like, you'll do this, whatever. And I was like, awesome. Went to Sundance Film Festival. He was there. He had a film in there. And I was just like, this guy's so cool. Wow. And this is a guy that doesn't drive this crazy car. Like, doesn't look like he's trying to be flashy. But does look like he's trying to say, I made it. I did. I got it. I got here. So we're meeting over dinner. I didn't get to go to his film because it sold out. It was starring Aubrey Plaza? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Sure. It was a, it was a big film, so yeah. I was like, "Wow, this is so cool! She's I can't wait a, to meet a good actress." She, <laughs> she's a lovely actress. But anyway, so we're meeting for dinner. I'm like freaking out. I, my friend's with me. He brings one of his friends, and I'm like, "Hey, man! How, like, how's it going? Whatever." Shakes hey, me. what's up? Dude? Hey, how are you? And he's wearing a two tone sub with a blue dial. And I say, "Love the sub." And he's like, "Oh, thanks." So we're sitting, we're talking, and whatever time goes on, I keep like glancing down. And I'm I, like, cringing. look down at one point, and it, like, ticks. Uh, and the worst part is, I said, love the sub, and I had my date just on. And I was like, I, I flip watches. Like, I work with watches. I edit for, like, I told him that I'm very heavily involved with watches. anxiety. And he was like, oh, cool. So we're sitting at dinner. We're talking. And I look down, and I catch the first tick. And I was like, oh, no. And then, this was my bad. I should have looked down once, seen it, and then, like, stopped looking. And that, like, made it a point to, like, keep right. my head straight. Right. But I kept looking because I was like, maybe oh, I didn't see a tick. Maybe no. I saw it. And then I could see he's starting to, like, catch oh, my glance. no. And, like, our conversation's going fine. And it's never said, but there was one point where I looked down, he looked at me looking down, and then we, like, met, and we weren't, like, saying oh. anything we were eating. And... It was it wasn't the worst moment of my life, but it was twofold because I knew he was like um, this guy got this guy got me. Guy, yeah. But then two, I obviously wasn't gonna say it. And then three, he picked up on the fact that I was like, okay, so you're you're a phony. Like oh. I, I, the movies are working or whatever. Are they working? Why do you have a fake watch on? Right. So he then got like weirdly defensive and kind of like bearish the whole time oh, and it was just like well you know I, like, I got another film coming out with this star this star I got this to do oh, I got that and like, I got all this and like my Mercedes in the back like not oh, saying it like yelling at me right. but like pointing out all oh. these things and I was like oh my, oh, god. my god and then we left and that was it but I was just like oh we both knew oh, he didn't god. talk we didn't talk he unfollowed me on Instagram oh, I know I didn't say a word the horror just, the whole the horror that is brutal Oh, I oh my god, that's so uncomfy. I you know, I don't get it, the whole fake watch thing. Mm-hmm. I really don't. It's I, just not for me. Much more respect to someone wearing a ten dollar Timex than yeah. someone wearing a hundred dollar fake Rolex. Yeah, absolutely. I just don't I, I don't know. I mean, hey, listen, if you guys get it, comment down below the explanation. I mean yeah. I don't know. I mean, you're gonna get caught. And things like that happen. Yeah. Like, why there's a lot that? of watch guys out and, there. And maybe, you know, if you are a good and you know, honest and all these things kind of guy why take the risk that someone that is observant and po- quite possibly important like theoretically i, I could have been theoretically <laughs> you could have been or it could have worse it could have been me noticing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um why would you take the risk that this person would think that you're a phony yeah you ruined your dinner it sucks man right yeah it's not for me i i wear i mean again i wear i wear Reggae sometimes, but I wear yeah. very. I wear my swatch more than people would think. Yeah, right. Especially on like you know like dates. I, I don't know. I think it's playful. Plus, I don't want to send the wrong. Way. I'm sometimes worried about sending the wrong, the other side of the wrong message. Yeah, like right. oh, what a jerk off. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't date Italian girls, but, <laughs> but especially with that like oh, that's gnarly like, yeah, voice. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's first that island. You know, <laughs> they slap you when you walk in. This guy, uh, he's got my new boyfriend. This guy, his name's Griffin. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I sometimes I wear more, even simpler wa- simple watches, just because you know you don't want to send that message. But no, fake watches. I'm sorry. I just you know I'm not. I'm not coming for you. I'm not attacking you. It's just, I mean, I don't feel that strongly about it. Right. It's like we're we're probably so just diametrically opposed. Right. That right. I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna diametrically opposed, folks. Uh, that I'm not gonna convince you. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, brutal. Anyways, 